This Sports Plus conversation is sponsored by your Quality Ford dealers. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years. That's the way it goes. You may want to keep your eyes on that little kid, only eight years old. He knows a lot about baseball. Well, even as a youngster, Ben Hockman was ready to talk sports on Channel 5, and the Post-Dispatch columnist is here for tonight's Sunday conversation. Welcome in, Ben. I don't think we're going to dissect the 1988 John Tudor <laughs> trade tonight, but we are going to talk some Cardinals. Big win today. Still five games out of a wild card spot, though. What does this organization do if it's another playoffless season? Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? That's the first question? <laughs> I mean, if they miss the playoffs for the second year in a row and thus the fifth time out of nine seasons, at that point, you have to talk about everybody. From the hitting coach and the pitching coach to even John Mozeliak, who I like as a guy and clearly put together some great seasons, but I think if they miss the playoffs again and it's looking that way and he has one more year on his contract and that's it, and Heim Bloom, the great baseball mind, is an advisor to the St. Louis Cardinals, they need to think about how they want to restructure that front office. As a columnist, you're on the pulse of the fan base. What is the temperature right now? I would say 3,000 degrees. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's the anger, the ire is, is through the roof, and understandably so. I mean, last year was such a bad year, but we were told, okay, it was a blip. It was an aberration. The St. Louis Cardinals will restore the sore. They will be back to being the team that we knew from growing up, and they're not. They're just at 500 right now. They don't hit well. They definitely don't hit well with runners in scoring position. And they're old, and their old guys aren't doing well. Let's talk some soccer now. Obviously, the new additions for City FC, a lot of fun. But right now, the path of the playoffs is slim to none. What's your big picture takeaway from this season? Well, it's kind of a restart, and it's weird because if we had talked before this season began and said, how would you describe this season? Well, I think it's going to be a restart. You would have been like, no, they're supposed to take their success from the first year and carry it into the second and go even higher. But that's the state of, of this franchise and soccer, uh, the way soccer goes. And look, Lutz made a lot of good moves. Uh, Hartel, what a fun player to watch. Uh, Simon Betcher, the kid from SLU, is scoring. He's got a nose for the, for the goal. There's a lot to be excited about, but they're just so far back in last night's game. For those that stayed up to watch, it had to have been one of the more painful sports experiences of the year. A couple of Mizzou thoughts. We're both alums. I've never seen the hype train before a season like it is right now. I don't know if you ever have. Just seems like the convergence of a bunch of different things to set up for this season. College football playoff, 12 teams. It's exciting. And the reality is there's been hype over the decades for Mizzou teams here and there, the Chase Daniels team, the, the, the James Franklin teams, and the Blaine Gabbert team before that. But think about this if you haven't put this together. The two best players on the team are two of the best players they've ever had and they're both from St. Louis. They're twofers. You got Luther Burden and Brady Cook, who would be great Mizzou Tigers and fan favorites, even if they're from Botswana. But they're from St. Louis, <laughs> where they root for the Tigers. You led into my next question. Eli's put an emphasis on Missouri and St. Louis specifically. What does it mean to have, they have 25 players from our metro area who we've covered in high school, now on the roster. What does it mean for this year to be powered by guys from here? It's a win, 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 because it's a testament to local coaches for growing talent. It's a testament for Mizzou to keep them in the state and have them play for the Tigers. And then, of course, it excites the local fan base. Uh, you get excited at Channel 5. Oh, I wrote about this guy on our website. Oh, I covered this guy on Friday nights, and now he's playing for the Tigers, making big plays. Finish this sentence. Mizzou makes the college football playoff if. What's the phrase? Take care of business. Stand on Stand business. Stand on business. Eli last year. Look, I think they can do it. There, there's some curveball games on that schedule, and the Texas A&M game, I think it kind of scares both of us. Yeah. Um, but I, and I don't think they're going to win at, at Alabama, but I think they beat Oklahoma, and I think they have one loss, and we're covering playoff football. What a weird sentence to say.